honey. I shrunk the Kodiak is most likely the primary thing that springs to mind when you set eyes on the Karak, Skoda's all new C-section SUV. Without a doubt it shares something beyond a passing similarity to the Kodiak, yet is that extremely such a terrible thing when enormous brother has won pretty much every vast family auto grant out there? Well, number. In any case, in a segment of the market that appears to pick up another participant consistently the Kirik needs something other than great qualities. Not exactly. While the Kodiak is a completely fledged individual from the Chelsea Tractor Detachment, the Kirik is recognizably more petite in its assemble. All things being equal, baggage space is truly outstanding in its class. At 588 litres with the back seats set up and 1605 with them collapsed down. On the off chance that that is insufficient, the Varioflex raise seats, standard on sale and Kirk edition autos, can be evacuated, making an immense 1810 litres of baggage limit. You can't have the variable tallness boot floor in conjunction with Varioflex raise seating, so it's either. Uplifting news is that notwithstanding it having an indistinguishable stage from the seat Atica, the Karak is wonderfully extraordinary out and about. Dissimilar to the Atica, Skoda hasn't attempted to make it lively, rather running with the mantra of comfort is king. The final product is reviving. Without a doubt, the guiding isn't as sharp and the body roll isn't also contained, yet the Karak suits the individuals who drive around like they're conveying an auto heap of individuals. Ride comfort is all around judged, padding out enormous plunges and obstructions, while refinement levels are agreeably quieted, regardless of where the wind clamor crawls up more than 70 miles per hour or somewhere in the vicinity. This is fine and dandy, yet imagine a scenario where you're in that minority who needs their smaller hybrid to be honored with a level of rough terrain ease of use. All things considered, there's a four-wheel drive Karak to suit, yet you're limited to the 2.0-litre TDI diesel power plant. On paper its execution is like the 1.5 TS Ivo, with 148 bhp and 251 pounds feet of torque enough to marshal a 121 miles per hour best speed and a stop to 60 miles per hour time of 8.4 seconds when mated to the smooth moving 6 speed manual. Disappointingly it's very little more temperate than its front drive oil kin with an official claim of 56.5 miles per gallon for the TDI versus 51.4 miles per gallon. This says more in regards to the TSI's dynamic chamber innovation fuel sparing than it does about the diesel being poor. The antagonist of the piece is an additional 183 kilograms of haul politeness of the heavier diesel engine and the four-wheel drive framework. Not just that, it's nearly 3,300 pounds more costly. One presumes that the general correct shot with a group of four of ribbed and grippy winter tires would demonstrate more than sufficient for quite a bit of Skoda's UK customer base.